What is Kooji, cool my royal court out there? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jai, this is Tara with Jai. And I decided to come on here and do a collective read. Now I know I did a poll earlier um, this week and a lot of people were not fans of collectives, but you know what? I feel like it's time to do a collective only because I remember doing my last live reading and the main question was why is it taking so long for love to come? Why is it so hard for me to find love? Why? Am I single this whole time? Why is it so hard that, that way for love? And you know what? I've decided to do a collective read, okay? So hello, my kings, queens, and my royal highnesses. That's what I'm going to call my non-binary royal court members. Because why not? That is our pronouns here. Kings, queens, and your highness, okay? Your grace, <laughs> your excellence. And so I just want to get some messages for the collective. So before we start, guys, check out my description box below that has all the information you need from me. If you want to book your own personal reading, I cannot wait. I'm adding new types of readings to my shop. So look out for that. Also, if you guys want to send any donations, those are greatly appreciated. And also, I want to give a thank you for everybody who has been booking my audio readings, my video readings, sending donations. Thank you guys so much for doing that. I am so grateful for you. May it come back to you 100 times full because we're abundant over this royal court. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say that right now. And everybody, thank you guys so much. Just make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the royal court. We'd love to have you here. And yes, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I post another reading, collective reading, pick a card reading, anything else like that. And yeah, let's get into those readings. So I was going to do a pick a card reading, but y'all, <laughs> Spirit said, you don't got time for that. You got money to make. You got to travel. You got to do this, that, and the fifth. And I am just here giving you guys this collective so I'm not... Um, Leaving y'all hungry, okay? I didn't, I don't think, I didn't post last week because I got so busy. My cousin is in town from the army and he is back and I wanted to spend time with him and my family. So I do apologize. Um, and just for that, this week, you guys will be getting two readings, a collective and a pick a card, okay? So just so you guys know, I want to give you guys and I want to cater to my royal court members for thank you guys for being here. So let's just see why you've been single for so long. Why is it so hard to find love? I mean, the, intuitively, it's just like because the dating pool is um, ridiculous nowadays. People don't believe in love anymore. They want to go. They want to have someone they can leech on. But you know what? That's just <laughs> something that we all should know. And it's something that we all have related to, especially the good ones. Even the bad ones can experience it, but they they stay bad. Anyway, so I have five cards here just to get the overall energy. I will be using um, my deck that I've created, just a song lyrics deck that I've created. Also, I am going to have some new decks on make playing cards that's, that's going to be available for purchase. I will link that in the description box below. But let me get this deck out now. This has all my love songs. And this is only volume one. <laughs> I'll be making volume two pretty soon. But um, yeah, so let's just get into the messages, okay? Let's see. Oh, we have the last laugh. Okay. So I'm going to pick the first two energies here. We have the last laugh and freedom. So one thing I can tell you right now, a lot of blockage when it comes to negative energy for some of you guys. And I want to say this right now. This is a general reading and a collective reading. So please take a resonance and do not let it take from you. Okay. So the last laugh and the freedom card, a lot of you guys are definitely needing to <laughs> put, get some positivity in your life. Because what I'm saying by this, the last laugh and freedom, a lot of you guys are trying to play karma. OK, a lot of you guys are being karma. You don't got to worry about me. You made it clear that you're unhappy. Like it's, it's giving that it's giving very much Queen Nasha karma. Like you're trying to be karma, but that's going to backfire from you. <laughs> what spirit is advising all my people who's trying to be karma is allow yourself to be free. <laughs> OK, you know, the, um, your enemies, I mean, your exes, the people that you used to love, the best medicine, the best revenge is not even giving them your time and energy. Silence is something powerful when it comes to people who have done you wrong, when who has done you so negatively. If you keep on trying to respond, you and when you keep on trying to prove yourself, if you keep on trying to fight that hoe, trying to fight that dude, if you keep trying to prove that you are the one you're going to be wasting your time. <laughs> you're going to be wasting your time in the situation because this is just that's just proving how much power you have over them, no matter how much you love them. And I know it's easier said than done, but you guys have to understand that your silence, your literally leaving them alone is so much more powerful than you reacting. It's harder. And we have the Elder of, Elder of Chalices, which is the King of Cups, really honing your emotions. By the way, this is a tarot for me, for you and me. 
or me and you, one of the two, I want to say me and you, this is a pride tarot deck, I did a walkthrough of this uh, this month or the, the end of last month, I love this deck so much, but since it's pride month, this is a timeless collective, I do want to say that right now, this is a timeless collective, but um, I'm going to use this tarot to bring some more clarity, but I know a lot of you guys really trust the tarot more than Oracle, but I've, I've been called to use more Oracle decks, so, but anyway, I'm just going to do that just to get my little handy handy handy, so... Just with that, I want to clarify, Spiel, give me last laugh and freedom, please. Please show me last laugh and freedom. I want to see what else is going on here when it comes to my collective. On why is it so hard to find love for my collective, my collective royal courts who are single and mingling and searching for love and who want love, who want to be that king to find his queen, to, who wants to be that queen to find her king, to be one that king to find his king, that queen to find a queen, and my royal highnesses, or, you know, whatever. Oh, the three of lanterns. And then we also have the nine of chalices. Freedom is what you actually are. Okay. A lot of you guys are really trying to find that freedom from this person now. I do see that with the uh, freedom and the nine of chalices, a lot of you guys are definitely trying to find that freedom. I feel called to put them like this. Um, you're definitely trying to find that freedom. And it is going to get harder and harder if you allow this old person to keep having your energy. Like, oh, I'm going to do this to them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make sure that the person that they with is going to regret being with them. I'm going to make sure that they, I'm going to make sure that they know what they're missing out on. But babies, my kings, my king, my queens, non-binaries, my royal highnesses, y'all, that is going to be... It's going to backfire and it's not going to be in your favor. <laughs> That's the sad part. Oh, excuse me. It's not going to be in your favor. Because once spirit realizes, oh, they're trying to be karma. Let me back off. Let me just do this. I'm not going to be that karma. I'm not going to give them what they deserve until they realize that they deserve better. That's why love hasn't, hasn't, love hasn't, mm. Look, I'm stuttering a little bit. That's why love hasn't come for a lot of you. I know a lot of you guys feel shaken. A lot of anger built up. That's why love hasn't come for you yet. And if you have been waiting and you have not been doing karma, this is just you really needing to live. <laughs> I know that we are in a society and the economy is raising up and we got to work, 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 two to three jobs to pay bills, trying to find a higher rating job. And I get that. I do. And I do. And I do. And I do. And I do. But. You live in your life, finding ways to call off for work and make sure that you're actually having a day off. If you guys have kids, having a day off with your kids, going out, um, going out to eat, going to the park, sitting down, enjoying nature. Just letting yourself be free is the main thing. We also have partner in crime. So go best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Partner in crime. I definitely see a friend coming in to help you out. Now, a lot of your friends, a lot of your friends have been the ones to really... Be like, sis, bro, because <laughs> um, you're you going to need to get this together. Partner in crime tells me there's a close bonded friendship here for me intuitively. We also have confusion. So we'll clarify confusion because I don't know what that means. Just yet collective and love like fire. Something very passionate. And this is the outcome that you guys are manifesting. This is the outcome that my royal court is bringing to, to their life. That, that love like fire, something that's very burning passion, that ace of wands energy. Show me the partner in crime and confusion right now and love and love like fire, please. Let's do this before I get to my other, get to these cards right here. Whew, spirit, please show me what this is. Partner in crime, confusion, love like fire, please. What is going on with this energy for the collective? Please take a resonance and not let it take from you, okay? Please show me what needs to be seen here. Whew. A lot of calming down energy is what I feel like. A lot of you guys, somebody here needs to calm down. Calm down. There's no need to rush. I know you, some of you guys are older, I know, but there's no need to rush. Because the more that you rush, the more that you're going to fumble back to those old patterns that you used to because you're so desperate. My royal court is not desperate. We are royalty, Okay. Okay, there's no need to be desperate. We strategize here. We have boundaries. We have standards. <laughs> a lot of us are sluts. <laughs> a lot of us are hoes. But guess what? <laughs> but guess what? We're hoes with standards. We're sluts with standards. Okay? That's what it is. Partner in crime. Two of plants. Okay. 
Some of you are definitely needing to really needing to allow the healthy advice that you're getting from your friend or someone who actually loves you and listen to them. Because the two of plants here tells me that you're really contemplating on, should I really believe them? I don't think I should, but they have a point here, but he just texted me back or she just hit me up or they just told me they're sorry. Just because they told you they're sorry don't mean they won't do what they did to you again. And it's not your chance. And let me tell you something. With the last laugh and the three of lanterns, I do feel like you're trying to get back at them. I'll say what you're going to do, cheat back. I know, I look, I know two wrongs don't make it right, but I feel like a lot of you guys are just, you'd be like, huh, well, I'm about to put up a fight because they're not going to do this to me wrong. Then you're just going to be put back in this cycle. And I know, I don't know, it's hard, but my royal court, we have to be the bigger person in the situation. And I know that's going to be hard. It's harder. It's easier said than done. And I get that. And we're going to fumble. We're going to mess up. And I get that. But we do have to stand up and we do have to be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And you're going to go over this way. And I'm going to go that way. I'm not going to worry about you after that. Cause this is right here. This is some foolishness. Now the confusion card ooh, is the six. Okay. It's who can I run to? That's what it is to share this empty space. Who can I run to when I need love? Really trying to figure out. Now, a lot of you guys are really reevaluating what your type is. And not just what, what was your type in high school or what was your type back when you was a year ago. Like, a lot of you guys are reinventing what you call love, how you want to be loved. And this is, this is beautiful to me because this tells me that you're upping your standards. And that means if someone that wants to come in, if they don't align with that, then it's time to dip. It's time to be like, thank you. <laughs> I'm not trying to change you or nothing, but you got to go. Okay. But you got to go. And it's very powerful there. You know, it's really who I want to give my love to. That's really what, who can, who can I run to escape is definitely here. Love like fire, the ace of chalices. A lot of you guys are leaving a relationship that was strict on sex. A lot of you guys, I'm hearing friends with benefits, with partner in crime and love like fire here. <sighs> but you're with the eight of chalices. This is um, an emotional state that you are leaving behind a lot of, uh, leaving, leaving behind a lot. Leaving behind, again, again, what I just said, like some people, you guys are literally reinventing your type. You're reinventing who you attracted. You're reinventing who you're attracted to. And a lot of people are going to be like, well, you, well, they're going to be like, oh, they, oh, the, the royal court over there, like, oh, they used to find me <laughs> very attractive. They must still do. And then they're going to come in and rejection, R-E-J-E-C-T, reject, child. Rejected, rejected. You just got rejected. R E J E C T E D, rejected. That's what it's giving. I feel a lot of you guys are going to be rejected, and a lot of you guys with the Eight of Chalices is going to be hurt because this love was like fire. It was, ooh, baby. What's at the back of this deck here? Reflection. Yes. Where are you from? Must be heaven. You be rich if looking good was your profession. Think I'm in love because you so sexy. Boy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to my own reflection. I'm talking to my own reflection. I'm talking to my own reflection. Yeah, there's a lot of self-love energy here. I can tell you that right now. M magical moments that you make. Well, look at them pouring that wine. Some of you guys are going to be going on a wine tasting thing with a friend. I don't know. That's, some, that's, some, that's a channel message for somebody. A wine tasting thing with your friend. Very, your, but your partner in crime. Okay, definitely just going out and enjoying the moment, not going out to the club. I don't feel like this is a club moment for a lot of you guys. It just feels more. <sighs> this feels more like let's go to somewhere intimate where not a lot of people's there that, you know, um, up into our stature. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. We're going somewhere with my stature. Okay, we're going somewhere with my stature. So that's that's a, that's above my status. Okay, because it is my status. I think it's above my status, but it's actually to my status, and that's okay. Let's see, Spear. What else do we have? Ooh, okay, that card wanted to fly out. We have "Stay and Fight" by Tamar Braxton. Somebody wants you to stay and fight for this connection. Back of the deck is teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Ooh, the collect ooh, my royal court. This person, whoever I'm channeling, this person that you literally leaving behind, they really say, like, you need to stay for this connection. Show me how to love you. But huh, do they want to? Or are they just here because they don't want you somewhere else? The love like fire in the ace of chalices is confirmation. 
Jesus. See, that's confirmation the way it fell. But this is confirmation that this love was like fire. This love may have been or this love that you had was like this. But leaving it may have felt worse, may have felt bad now. But there's something special about what you what you what you're going towards. I'm gonna say what you left behind. I mean that is special. What you left behind is special. I can buy myself flowers. Write my name in the sand. Talk to myself for hours. Okay, that that's the way. Oh, that's why I love you, my sir with Sabrina Color. Okay. Just treat it yourself. A lot of you guys just got out of a long relationship, so you really don't even know how to even treat yourself properly. You're learning how to treat yourself properly. And if you just got out of a relationship or you're still being affected by a past relationship, I need you to learn how to treat yourself properly by treating yourself better than how they treat you. But at the same time, I always say this in my love readings, especially when it comes to self-love, when it comes to developing your own. And I know we hear this a lot, that self-love, you have to fill your own cup. You do. But I want to tell you right now, my royal court, you do not have to love yourself fully to love somebody else or allow yourself to love somebody else. There's a reason why we want connection. There's a reason why we want a relationship so they can love the parts of us that we do either don't feel like loving or that we, that it's, we can't love because we find it difficult. And that's just, and I'm going to preach that to the day I die. <laughs> because there is a, an extent of self-love that we have to have and self-respect. But we don't have to have it all the way to find true love and guidance. Anything else, Spirit? Buy yourself some flowers. I want you guys to order yourself some flowers. And some of you guys are going to forget that you even did it. Ooh, heaven can wait. Michael Jackson, tell the angels no. I don't want to leave my baby alone. I don't want nobody else to hold you. That's a chance I'll take. Baby, I'll stay. Heaven can wait. Wow. With rain down on me, let your love just fall like raindrops. Rain on me. Just rain down. Oh, rain could be significant. And it's, it's so funny because it's raining right now where I'm at right now. Rain, the weather rain, the rain as in the weather can do it. But heaven can wait by Michael Jackson. Heaven can wait. You're not done loving, my collective. You're not done loving. You're not done loving whatsoever. Made for me. Yeah, because, ooh, there's a, ooh, there's, ooh, there is a counterpart energy. There is divine counterpart here. I don't want to say soulmate because um, <laughs> we have more than one soulmate. We just, we don't have just a romantic soulmate in this lifetime. We have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. But divine, but your person. Nobody knows me like you do, no. Skin to skin. I'm never going to love like this again. Made for me. This is heaven can wait. There may be a pause on your love life, especially if you're questioning what's if <laughs> why have I have you been single for so long? What's wrong with me when it comes to my love life? There's nothing wrong with you. But when it comes to having your person and your divine counterpart, the person that you're meant to be with, you both have to be ready for love. <laughs> that's something that we always forget that's something that a lot of people always forget especially when I do love readings you have to understand that you both have to be ready to love each other because if you don't it's literally just going to be one sided it's going to be a codependency you both have to be ready to love each other it's, it can't be one sided and I know a lot of people don't want to hear that but we got teach me how to love so a lot of you guys this is the energy of Really, someone wants you to teach, teach them how to love you. But at the same time, they should, if this is your person, they should already have an idea on where to start. Being with you, they're going to learn more on how to love you. They shouldn't want to learn how to love you from the start because they, sh they should already intuitively know. That's how you know that's your person. When, you, when they intuitively know how to love you from the start and they are open to learn. Now, especially if you're going to be like, well, my ex used to do that too. But when did it stop? Huh? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. If you feel if you feel called to comment below. When did that stop, though? When did they stop wanting to learn? Was it when you got off the market? When you got off um, when you started doing what they wanted to? When you thought it was happy? When did that stop? I want you to remember that there's something significant about that. Ooh, ooh, not porn star. You run me like a porn star. 
She robbed me like a pro. She did this shit before. And rain is back again. You used to rain. Some of y'all used to rain on that Dior. Some of y'all, you, ooh, some of my, ooh, ooh, my kings out there. You made it rain, didn't you? Ooh, just one stroke. You made it rain. <laughs> you made it, ooh, ooh, child. Mm, 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 mm. That love was good. And we had love like fire here. This is good sex. Some of you guys definitely had good sex with your person. I, I really do see that. I really do see that energy here. I really do. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. If those signs are significant. Sagittarius. Those are the signs I'm seeing so far. Or intuitively heard. Water signs. Yeah, all the water signs. Virgo and Sag. Those are the signs I'm seeing. Those signs could be significant. Somebody, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I apologize. Somebody wants to come in and say sorry. My collective. Somebody wants to come in. Operator. Get my baby on the line. Because just the other night, we had a horrible fight. I admit that I, I was out of control. Now. This is a this is the message for <laughs> my people who are in relationships or starting to be in a relationship. Back of the deck is imperfect, imperfect for you. Fucked up, dun dun. Yeah, you okay? This is definitely something. So y'all, 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 y'all. Let's talk about this because a lot of y'all are actually blocking love. Mm -hmm. From my collective, you are blocking love. With I apologize and imperfect for you at the back of the deck, you're expecting a lot more from this person or you're expecting a lot more from the person that is coming in. So I do want to say right now for my collective, be aware and be cautious of how you treat the person coming in because it feels as though with I apologize here, you guys will definitely be clashing a lot and you guys will definitely be fighting a lot because you're expecting more than what this person can give. That does not mean they're good. They're not good for you. It just means that you are literally putting unrealistic um, expectations because you have the ideology of the way that you want to love. That probably did not even make no sense. I, I just I just tried to use a big word. <laughs> I'm just trying to use a big word, but you have this idea of what your love life should be, but is it realistic? That's 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 one thing that's really what's blocking that's one thing that's really blocking my collective from love. You having this unrealistic expectations a lot of you guys well it is real it is realistic i'm doing this that and the fifth now I, now if it is it is but a lot of you guys as a collective we do definitely need to rethink our expectations and our expectations when it comes to our love and relationships and our boundaries and our non-negotiable list okay definitely making a non-negotiable list when it comes to relationship because the spirit wants us the great divine god the universe um um, what else? The most highest. The, who, the, literally the greatest power of all. Manifesting is knowing what you want. And attracting it. Okay? Attracting it. Making sure that it is being attracted to you and opening yourself up to the arms because let me tell you something you may think your manifestation is one thing but spirit the great high God they have a whole difference. <laughs> They have a whole different interpretation of what you're been wanting. And it's really going to hit you like, wow, this is, is exactly what I wanted. But I didn't think it was going to be that way. That's what it is. That's what it is. God don't play with you. Spirit don't play with you. <laughs> the divine don't play with you. The universe don't play with you. Now, a lot of you guys, you guys need to leave the person alone. I wish you loved me. How can someone make me so sad? But still, I only want you to stay. You need to leave that person alone. You want to leave, you need to leave that person alone. There's no way that you should, I get it. Sometimes when it comes to people that we don't have, we're like, oh, I wish that person loved me. I wish they would just open their arms to me. I don't want them to be with that person. That person's not good for them. Chow, no. Back of the deck, we have until. How does it feel by D'Angelo? I said until, un untitled, excuse me. Questioning yourself, like, I wonder how would it feel to be with that person? I wonder. Jesus, this is one card spirit. We have melt. You want to mm -hmm, melt by Kehlani. Melt into you. Oh, oh, oh. You want to really just fall effortlessly with the person. Spirit, what else about this? What else? What else? What else? What else? Before you walk out my life. Okay, some of you guys, there's some unfinished business. Okay, I do have to say that with 
Before you walk out my life, here we are face to face. There's a conversation that needs to be had. Well, I, I never meant to cause you no pain. I just want to go back to being the same. I only want to make things right before you walk out my life. Yeah, you want to have peace with the person. A lot of you guys, that's what's blocking you. Teach me how to love. Back at the bottom of the deck. This is, oh, so a lot of you guys with this ex, they want you to stay and fight. But my collective, you're being called to end it. Find that closure. Even if you feel as though this person's like, well, that wasn't enough. That's not going to be enough for them, but it's enough for you to get over them. Because there's something that needs to be saying to an ex or someone that you had a strong attachment with, that someone that you just, that you felt like it was unfinished business. Well, the business needs to be finished so you can open yourself up. Because that's also what's blocking you is an unfinished conversation with someone that is still attached to you. We have, oh, it's going to rain by Kelly Rowland. There's something that you must know. There is something that you must know. It will rain. Oh, that's my song. <laughs> There'll be pain. Morning will come. Keep your head high. I'm jumping around the song. Counting all joy. We have Between Us by, Divi by, Divi by Division. Excuse me. I almost said by the divine. Well, it is. <laughs> by Division features Snow Allegra. So... It's going to rain. It's something with apologize. Your relationship, especially the one that you're attracting, it's not going to be perfect. And I know a lot of people's like, but I don't expect it to be perfect. I get that. But sometimes when we get into a relationship, we're like, oh my God, it's perfect. We put that pressure of perfection on our relationships and our loving relationships. So I just want you guys, my collective, to know that be careful about putting the label of perfect on your relationship when it comes. Because with it, I apologize and it's going to rain. Yeah, that's giving the same signs that there's going to be trouble in the relationship. You're two individuals in a connection. <laughs> Let me say that again. You're two individuals in one connection. A relationship is like a partnership, okay? It's a partnership. It is. It's kind of a business thing, but at the same time, that's also a marriage. A marriage is like a business thing. But between us, this song is, I don't want nothing in between us. Nothing that'll stop the feelings. But, you know, sometimes ego can get in the way of, like, certain topics, little petty arguments. Just know it's, it's bound to happen. And as someone who gets anxiety around conflict, it is definitely something I'm going to have to definitely get over. Because I know that and when I get into a relationship, <laughs> when I get into one, because I, I, I resonate with this. Of course I do. When I get into a relationship, I know there's going to be times where friction is being caused. And, you know, sometimes you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to argue. Okay, you're going to have to have disagreements. Now, if there's physical fighting, leave the relationship below. I just got to say that right now. And the stay and fight card came out first. So this talk, this does talk about for my people who do have like anxiety around conflict. Um, there is an energy of you. It's never, the anxiety is never going to go away. But there is a view that really needs to stand that ground and understand that your point of view deserves to be seen. Your point of view needs to be heard. It, it does not need to be one-sided. This is not a codependency. You're not attracting a codependent relationship where you have to, where you're the yes man or you're the yes woman or you're the yes person. No. Stay and fight just tells you that you don't have to. It's not, now, this doesn't have to be no yelling and no screaming or nothing like that. But this is just to make sure that you are fighting on your side and you believe what you said, no matter how, what they say, no matter if they tell you to choose your battles wisely, no. Okay? You make me want to come. That's not the song. <laughs> Ooh. I was thinking of Usher. This has come through by her featuring Chris Brown. Um, ooh, somebody traveling. Somebody's traveling. Somebody has been traveling a lot. Back of the deck we have, and the point of it all, I love you. Somebody has been traveling with come through. Almost missed my flight today. I look good even though I feel shitty. 
call him off? Would you call him off for me? You're always going on and on. Tell me why and why you're next to me. I don't go out much. Well, you should come through tonight. I'm chilling on the west side, boo. Call your homo to your best friend. He can lie to on the load on my lone location. I don't want them see me getting faded, boo. You should come through tonight. I'm only kicking with a tight crew. They won't tell because they trying to live their best life too. I definitely see you guys keeping a tight-knit friendship as well with that song with Come Through. Definitely keeping a tight-knit friendship with friends, I mean. Keeping it tight-knit with friends, having like close friends, but not keeping it big or extravagant, trying to be around a lot of people. That ain't the point. <laughs> that ain't the point. I definitely see in like a good old five to six other people, just a small Nick friendship. Look, but I love me by Demi Lovato wants to come out here. Why am I the only one? And I'm always put my finger on the self-destruct. I wonder when I love me is enough. Like you like and especially because my collective, you're learning how to give yourself the love that you used to give other people. The amount of love you used to give to other people. Stars by soul. There is someone that you're meeting. There's someone that is in your energy that you're going to be meeting because I'm hearing, what's your name? What's your sign? They want to get to know you. Now, they may not be into an astrology, stuff like that, but they will be asking questions. That is my song. This is one of my songs to a new person coming into your life. So I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that, especially for my singles. Now, if you're in a relationship in this and this message is resonating with you, make sure that you're twisting it to your words. <laughs> make sure you're twisting it to making sure that you're making sure the single is make, just make sure that you're twisting it to that um, to your um, to your narrative, because if the message resonates, let it resonate. There's a reason why it resonates. <sighs> Let's get a couple more messages. We have fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just as sure as the sky is blue. They're so happy. It's so, come on, so amazing by Luther Vandross. Come on. This is what you're attracting. Now let's get to the last bit of messages. Messages, spirit. Ooh, what else is my collective, the royal court, attracting when it comes to love? Let's get some positive messages here for my collective. What else are they attracting when it comes to love? Those two cards. I'll shuffle some more, but let's see what these cards are. I can't get them. Okay, here we go. Sweet thing, won't you know you're my everything? Whoa, sweet thing. Did y'all see Shaka Khan's um um tiny desk? Yeah, she got that that sick name. Whoa, you know you're my everything. We have the way. This is the way you love me, baby. Yes, this is so you. Oh, I love it. Back of the deck is you're always on my mind. I'm okay. I'm gonna take that. Spirit said, take that. You're always on my mind. Thinking about you, thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Ooh, not X Factor by Lauren Hill. It could all be so simple. But you'll rather make it hard. Loving you is like a battle. Where we both end up with scars. Love You for Life by Jodeci. Tell me who I have to be. Ooh, I can't hit that note right now. Ooh. To gain some reciprocity. Cause no one loves you more than me And no one ever will Now this is the day now Now with X Factor here this is the, now there's a reason why it's called X Factor There is gonna be someone coming back into your energy when you find someone it's, it's always <sighs> It's always when you're happy It's always when you're moving on it's always when you moved on. It's always when you're smiling without them that they want to come back. <laughs> they want to come back and show you what you're missing. There was, we made a mistake. What? Goodbye. 
Royal right, Court, leave them alone. They trying to come in and ruin your goodbye. Goodbye, you miserable, you're a miserable asshole. Misery loves company. And you ain't about to give them no type of company. They gonna call you drunk. <laughs> they gonna call you drunk. Trying to get you to feel sorry for them. Trying to make you mine. They trying to come back and make you mine. They talk about, I'm trying to make you mine, but you keep on playing. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wasn't playing. It was you who was playing. Now I found somebody who's happy. I'm going to get my last bit of messages before we close this off. Ooh, they making me mad. Purple hearts. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It ain't love if you... Let me tell you something. It ain't love if you're going to judge me from my past. No, it ain't love if you ain't never eat my ass. Some of y'all like that. <laughs> Some of y'all like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My kings, queens, and my royal highnesses. Yes, yes, y'all like that. We don't judge over here. Okay, I just want to say that right now. We don't judge over here. Last messages is true colors. This person that you're attracting wants you to be honest. They want to, sh like, uh, I'm, hearing t I'm hearing the lyrics. Tell me the truth, baby girl, who else been with you? It's going to come to my attention either way. Uh -huh. And if I love you, it be just for you. And if I trust in you, but if I for you, but it just in you, oh baby, girl, come show me your true colors. Paint me a picture with your true colors. These are reflections of a new lover. There is a new lover coming into your life. My royal court, there's a new love coming in. True colors. Just don't try to hide them. Do not try to fake it out. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are definitely going to be questioning, what do you want from me? I got to know. They just, you you, you want to know what they really, what do they want from, want from you, this new person? They want you to be honest. They want you to be open with them. They do. Soul ties. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A lot of you guys will be having sex on the first date. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. I do see sex on the first date for a lot of you guys. And so my royal court, that was the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I will be doing a lot more collective readings. Um, not, a, not a lot, a lot, but I'll do once, one every one, like once every once in a while. I just feel like it's just to get videos out there. And my royal court, I've realized that we're all on the same frequency. Once you press that subscribe button, the good frequencies, the good energy, the good juju all connects us all. So if it resonated, allow it to resonate. It's a collective reading. So don't let it just take it. If it doesn't resonate, leave it in the trash. Leave it for somebody else where we actually will. And so thank you, my royal court, so much. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the royal court if you're just coming in and finding me. I would love to have you here. Okay, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, check out my description box below. That's the only way you can book a personal reading with me. If you guys want to send any donations, love offerings, you may in the description box below. And may it come back to you 100 times full because we're abundant over here and I'm 100% grateful. If you guys want to read anything else, please check out my description box. It only takes two minutes to read. And yes, thank you guys so much. So, like I always say, stay confident. You are powerful. Your story has just begun. Why give up before you're happily ever after? <laughs> See you, my royal court. <laughs>